During this time, Shipman saw the influence of doctors administering drugs like morphine to alleviate pain in the last days of her life. Etched upon the 17 years old mind, it was a scene he would recreate hundreds of times in the future. Unfortunately, Vera died of lung cancer at the age of 43. Shipman went on to study medicine at Leeds University. It was during this time he met the rose, sorry, it was during this time he met his one true rose, Primrose. They married a year later and together they had four children. <laughs> it was during Shipman's working years as a general practitioner at the Pontefract General Infirmary at Intort Modern Yorkshire that his colleagues made the shocking discovery that Shipman was addicted to the morphine-like drug Petidine. He was convicted of making out drug prescriptions to himself in the names of several patients. He was given a heavy fine and also fired from his job at the top modern practice. He left town for a psychiatric and drug treatment center in York and re-emerged sometime later as a GP in Hyde. In 1993, Shipman set up his own practice and attracted a large number of patients. During his time of practice, many of his patients were, who were trusted to his care fell victim to his murdering way. 
ways. His last victim University, I shall now withdraw blood from her median cubital vein in her left arm. As you can see, my syringe. I'm <laughs> trying there. Oops. Sorry. On September 7, 1998, Shipman's world came crashing down when he was arrested and charged for the murder of Kathleen Grundy. Oh, God. 